1268. Back in Hamburg, the critical 90-second evacuation test is finally about to begin. Today it's a big day, yeah. It's a little bit tense. I went through my checklist ten times. Uh, normally I did not forget something, but again I go through the, uh, through the checklist and checklist again, 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 and that's it. While Smile knows exactly what is supposed to happen in the next few minutes, the passengers don't seem to have the slightest clue. If we are going to the machine, then I think we get a command and then we get out. The plane is dark. Um, then suddenly something will happen, some doors will open. You have pushed to go out. And then... <laughs> yes, I hope I will go out. It's just a matter of minutes before Smile and his team will know if they can evacuate 873 passengers from the biggest commercial aeroplane ever built. The 92nd. And then happiness. Delivery. Four years in the planning, millions of dollars spent. One of the most important milestones in the A380 certification campaign. 873 people must evacuate the double-deck aircraft in under 90 seconds. Eight of the 16 emergency exits will be blocked, and the passengers don't know which ones. There will be debris on the floor. It will be dark. To add to the pressure, the aviation authorities are monitoring the entire procedure through 40 different infrared cameras and nobody in the aircraft knows exactly when the signal for emergency evacuation will finally go off. Seventy-eight seconds, 873 people and just one injury. For the Airbus A380, it is a victory without precedent. For Smile and his team, it is a moment of triumph. Four years of my life, preparation for this uh, EVAC test. And, uh, we did it. Watch this. Yeah.